This is a common textbook exercise. We try to prove the product of n plus 1, n plus 2 up to 2n is divisible by 2 to the nth power, but not by 2 to the n plus 1. So when you factor that, you're going to have n copy of 2, but not n plus 1. Okay, for any integer n. Now here, we can use simple algebra for the proof. It is that the product is n consecutive integers. All right? So you can rewrite it as 2n factorial divided by n factorial because the missing term here is 1 up to n, that's n factorial. All right? So what is 2n factorial? Now, for number from 1 to 2n, we can group the odd number and even number together. So for the odd number, if you multiply odd numbers, you're going to produce an odd number. So I'm going to use a big O for the first term, which are a bunch of odd numbers. Okay, so big O here is odd number. And the remaining one is going to be even number from 2, 4 up to 2n. How many of them? There are n of them. Okay, so you rewrite it as 2 times 1 times 2 times n. That is how many terms? n terms. And you're going to group 2 to the nth power here. And the remaining ones is simply 1, 2, and then up to n. That's n factorial. So notice that once you have this algebra here, you know that the original term is canceling this n factorial term. All right? So you're going to do that. And then notice that that's odd number times 2 to the nth power. So the conclusion is obvious now. So that quantity here is going to be 2 to the nth power times an odd number. So it is divisible by 2 to the n, but not by 2 to the n plus 1's power. Okay, that's the proof. Now, for this problem, you can always use mathematical induction. So for easier notation, we're going to say this is Sn. Okay, that is n plus 1 and then up to 2 and n terms. Okay, we call it Sn. So for the base case is n equal 1. Okay, that's going to be, you know, 1 times 2. The product is 2. Of course, that is indeed divisible by 2 to the 1th power, but not by 4 to the 2nd power. Okay, the so base condition, that's holds. Now for the induction step, assume the statement is true for n equal k. That is, sk here is going to be divisible by 2 to the k power, but not by 2 to the k plus 1's power. Now, for the induction, we're going to figure out what is sk plus 1. So that's going to be the product here. It is going to have this term here. Compare with sk, notice that there's a missing k plus 1 term at the beginning, and at the end, you have some extra terms. Okay, let's rewrite it here. So those are extra terms here, two terms, extra term, and the missing k plus 1. So we're going to express this in sk, but divided by k plus 1, right? the term that is missing, and the term that uh, uh, two additional terms. Notice that k plus 1 in the denominator cancels with 2k plus 2 with a remaining factor of 2. So you have 2, and 2k plus 1 is always odd number. So what you have is sk plus 1 is sk times 2 and the odd number. So you factor of 2, you have one additional term. Your induction assumption here is that sk is divisible by 2k and 2k plus 1, right? Not, not by 2k plus 1. Now here, you have additional two factor here. So naturally, sk plus 1 is indeed divisible by 2 to the k plus 1 power, but not by 2 k plus 2's power. Now with the mathematical induction, you know that the original statement is true for all positive integer m. Hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.